Hello, these days we are spending lots of hours sitting on a chair or worst case a scenario on a sofa. We need to exercise a little bit to stay fit and as well for allowing our muscles to get recovered, to stretch and to strengthen. I uh, will uh, show some simple movements that you can do with a chair. Uh, you can do all of them together in one time or every half an hour you should start, stand up and do some of these exercises just for keeping your body move, moving. So we are going to start with any chair that you can have. Uh, this one uh, is on my favorite, it's quite high, you, it just could be lower. But anyway, you just stand on the side and you just hold from there. You put the hands on the top of the table and the first thing that we're going to do is just bring in the, the going to your toes and lowering the heels. You will try to do like this four or five times. Every time that you do the movement, you have to be thinking about engaging the, your abdominal muscles, like pulling them in and pulling them up. And when you go up and down, try to go as high as you can to your toes and then as vertical as you can. Sometimes when we are not that flexible with the feet, we will probably start doing something like this and probably just the halfway. But the idea is kind of increasing the range of movement in each repetition. And then after about eight or five, uh, ten repetitions, we are going to do as if you were uh, running, bending one leg and letting go the other one. So you will be in and breathing out. Try to breathe into the nose and breathe out to the mouth to actually engage the core muscles. Breathing in and breathing out. And then once you finish this one, then you just hold. Then you are going to open the legs like in about wider than the hips and slightly turn out the legs, not too much, just like a small V shape. And in that position, you are just going to bend the legs. To do this movement, try to think about that you want to stay as vertical as possible with the upper body. So try not to do this. You will, if, you, if it's not easy for you, but you just try not to do it. To feel how you are opening your hip flexors are stretching and your legs are open to the sides. Your um, legs are working here with your thighs, your inner thighs and your glutes as well. Bring in and bring out. Again, do like 8 or 10 and then you take a little break. We are now going to go to the chair. So you sit on the chair just like normally. But I'm going to put the chair on the side for you to see what I'm doing. It's easier if you go all the way to the edge to have your legs free. You sit here as straight as possible. You may be curling your back like this, but really try to engage these muscles here and feeling how you're pulling your spine upwards as if you have a thread here pulling your uh, head up. You can hold yourself if it's, uh, the movements are difficult for you, you know, you just can keep the arms in the air. Engaging your core muscles, you are just going to lift one leg at a time, breathing out, and then the other leg, breathing out, and up, breathing out. Let's do like about, again, eight or ten sets of this repetition, of this exercise, breathing in and breathing out. And the last one, breathing in and breathing out. Good. Then we are going to stretch the spine. You put the hands on the side of your legs. And imagine that you have a wall behind you. You are just going to go away from that wall, articulating your spine as much as you can. So you first bring the chin down, like an upper distance, and then you continue. Just going as fully down as you can. And then you come back from the bottom, one one at a time, all the way up until you sit nice and tall. And then again, chin to chest, and bring out to the way down. And then you come back again. And bring out to come down. And now bring in. Let's do the last one. Bring out to come down. And bring in to come up. Let's do now some uh, torso rotations that will help your spine to put some space between your vertebrae. So you're going to twist to one side and hold from the back of the chair and with the hand you lock the other 
with the legs you lock the other hand and then you just pull yourself to twitch as much as you can to the side bringing the head and the shoulders aligned just going back and then you go to the other side and you just hold yourself and twitch and maybe now this is a really really nice stretch it helps the rest the your spine to be healthier and then you come back to it now you are also engaging here your legs the muscles that help for the rotation bring it now and let's do the last one and stretching your shoulders here and the other side bring it now and then we just stop then we are going to do uh, some sort of um, Relaxing your shoulders. I'm going to turn the, the chair around for you to see the front. Uh, with the hands on, on your legs, you are just going to do big circles with the shoulders. Like up, back, down, and forward. Up, back, down, and forward. And then you reverse. Back, forward, and down. Back, forward, and down. And the last one, back. And then you put the hand on the front on the front leg of the chair. The other hand goes to the side. And then you will slide your hand just as fold it down as you can to feel how you're stretching the side of your body, keeping the hips down. And then you come back and then you go to the other side, bring it down. And then you come back and do one more, bring it down. And go to the other side. Then with a little bit of rotation, you put the hand at the back diagonally, and this time I'm going to give you two quarters for you to see, you put the hand here, then you bring down here and then you will run your spine and then see you will hold in a big ball, so you just twist your torso towards your right side. Then you open your chest to the ceiling, and then again you go and twist me. Then you do the other side, so you put the hand, locking the hand with the back, holding your spine, and you just twist to a rotation facing to the other side. And then you open your chest to the ceiling, and then again you go holding your spine and rotation. And then you release. Stay at the center, and then you will just stay in there, doing a couple of breathings, breathing in deeply without lifting the shoulders. And bring out to the end of the earth and bring in deeply again and bring out to go to the air. So I hope these exercises help you to stay um, kind of fit and healthy and just take care of your body in all those days that you are at home. Thank you. Bye.